Is there conflict between science and the Christian faith? A popular narrative in our culture today is that, yes, there is, that scientific discoveries make it impossible to believe in God, that scientific discoveries make it impossible to believe the creation accounts found in Scripture. But is that really the case? I'm joined today by Dr. Bernard Palmer, who is a senior surgeon and a Christian who's going to help unpack that question. Uh, Dr. Palmer, what would you say to somebody who says there's conflict between science and the Christian faith? Well, simply, I'd say rubbish. The, uh, I became a Christian when I was reading natural sciences in, in Cambridge. And the reason I became a Christian was because I was convinced it's true. I had a consultant at my hospital who said, uh, Ben, why are you a Christian? And I said, well, because it's true. And he said, yeah, how do you know it's true? And we went over some of the remarkable coincidences that just can't be explained by anything we know about science. And I was fascinated at the beginning of the universe, how when atoms and their protons and neutrons were formed, that the mass of the proton is exactly 1,836 times the mass of the electron. Now, that had to have happened even before molecules were formed. And yet, if it wasn't exactly that, then how on earth could existence occur? How could we have life? Now, I've never heard anyone explain those sort of problems from a, a natural process. How does nothing become something? Yet there has to be a creator somehow. So, um, so it was really then the, the scientific evidence that you saw that convinced you that there was a creator. How did you uh, go from there being a creator to embracing uh, Christianity specifically? Well, to be honest, it wasn't the uh, scientific arguments to start with. I, I think most people who become Christians, there's a, a trigger somewhere in our instincts that tell us, there's, there's more to life. And it's these instincts that often start people searching. For me, I, everything was going swimmingly. I was playing a lot of tennis, which was my great love. I was uh, doing well academically. Everything was going well. But I just thought, well, what's, what's the point? You know, what am I here for? And then some friends said, look, why don't you come along and listen? And I heard some people very cogently uh, put the point that the answer is that God has entered this world and I could get my teeth into this. I could sort out, you know, was Jesus really God? Did he really rise from the dead? Uh, all those Old Testament prophecies, 330 prophecies, 60 major ones, are they really about Jesus? And it's very easy to test that. And I remember having many uh, good discussions with friends about primarily about Jesus mm -hmm. because that for me was was key and it's subsequent to this that I've got interested in all the other aspects mm -hmm. of life so I think our instincts are, are are very important then you've got the the history of Jesus is the Bible reliable you can get your teeth into this and the in, what seems to be problems if you actually get into the the text and wrestle with it and try and say, what's the original person trying to teach us? Mm. Then you, you find the, the, the difficulties tend to settle down. So when you put the whole lot together, that I have a, a personal need, for me it was a, a purpose in life, for other people it's guilt. Mm -hmm. uh, for other people it's saying, wow, the world's just so beautiful, how can this be? Mm -hmm. You put the whole lot together, and it's a very, very strong case. Yeah. I, I, need, I needed Christ. Yeah. Now, how has your faith then influenced your work as a physician? Oh, remarkably. Uh, the, uh, your attitude to your patients is going to reflect the way that God sees me, that I, I needed him and my patients need me. So I've got to say the same sort of grace and kindness to them to reflect the gospel. Um, and more than that, I'm, Christ called me to be more and more like the Lord Jesus. So 
I want my character to be tuned, to, to be like him, to be honest, and not to accept uh, what I might call sort of exaggerations of the truth. Christians have got to be honest. Um, and also he's called us there to share the gospel with other people so that they can get right with God too. So part of that means they've got to see Christ in me, but somehow I've got to communicate a message that they need to investigate Jesus Christ too, because the Bible's very clear that people get right with God only through a relationship with him. Now, that causes tensions, obviously. Now, how do you get the balance right? I don't want to be naff, I don't want to be a religious you know, crank, mm -hmm. but I want people to, uh, to learn and to think about Jesus.